All right, we're back here in Umbria, and we have a lot of money. <laughs> I just did not notice I had this much money. We should probably be using this money to do some of these missions, right? I think I want to do these first before I maybe go to war with anyone, just so I can make sure my, um, my economy is good. I need a foundry. That's unfortunate. I don't have a foundry unlocked. And I have terrible research efficiency. So I really need to also focus on getting some more nobles and citizens. Instead of Araminum is importing precious metals. Oh, is that even possible? I don't even know if I can import precious metals. Let's look at our culture. When it comes to the Romans, what do we do with the Romans here? <laughs> we have very low primary culture happiness, so we can't really integrate more people. I don't even plan to integrate the Romans. What I will do, again, you know, actually, what would this do? If I were to found a colony, it would actually go to Rome. Kinda like the idea of that. The first thing we're gonna do is found a colony in Rome. Boom, there we go. There we go, there's now eight Umbrians in there, which is not a lot, but it's something. We should do into Capua. We get claims on the rest of Roman lands. Um. There's a problem with that. So we can pretty quickly form the Federation. We have a lot of... S <sighs> we have a lot of aggressive expansion. We're losing so much stability. Okay, so maybe not expanding is the right uh, right thing to do, I think. Why are you guys so unhappy? Why am I almost so unhappy? Whoever into your culture's negative stability. Work Joshin is a lot, yeah. It might be mm, helpful to go into s religious advances, get... A little bit of integrated culture happiness. But anyways, these buildings should help for the most part. This needs some academies. Let's get a library in there. Do we have a library in here? Yes, we do. We could get a court of law in the capital. Ravenna is the Pontic, and the Pontics are accepted. They're accepted to to citizen rank, so we could put some court of laws in there. But I'd rather the Umbrians be my nobles be my be the ones making the research for me and yeah that is the issue i only have two umbrian cities i actually i only have two umbrian cities there are some umbrians in here so i guess we will build an academy and we'll build a quarter why not how about we build in rome because there's eight umbrians in there let's make some of them nobles as well so the goals they give me heavy tree archers a lot of archers they give a lot of archers and archers are not bad the archers are pretty good. They're light, so they don't take their very much attrition. They don't eat a lot of food either. They're not good against cavalry, but pretty much everything else they're good against. So even heavy infantry have negative 20% damage against them. Cavalry overall just completely counters archers, which makes sense. Light infantry do less damage, and also the spearmen. They're actually a really nice unit. So I think with the Lepontics, I kind of want to make them my... The, the population that I get most of my men from, my, my military from, sorry, but what, what am I saying? <laughs> most of my manpower, yes, that's what it is. So like in these Lepontic cities, I want to make manpower cities instead of like research cities. Creating an honor guard would help. Pontic warrior would join, they get more cultural happiness and they get more freeman output. That's good for more manpower. Yeah, I think this is what I want to do, create an honor guard. Why not? All right, good, awesome. This guy has 12 marshal. Unfortunately, I don't have a legion, so he can't. I can't really use him immediately. I guess I could make him a researcher. I could put him in the navy, but like, no, I'd rather him do that. So I've already spent most of my money on my Umbrian cities to get research. So next bit money I get, I will spend on the Lepontic cities and then get some forms in here. So I get more freemen, more manpower, and yeah. As for expansion plans, none. There's no expansion plans. <laughs> Not right now. For now, I guess at the beginning of this video, we'll just sit tight, sit peacefully, and uh, let this tick down. I should also, probably should have used my political influence to switch to appeasing, so that goes down quicker. So I'm going to keep influence for now. Um, What's going on here? Why have you left Etruria to come siege me down? Why? What's going on? Really? Really? Are we doing this? No. Can you... Are these guys gonna disappear, please? Trustians need to deal with these guys, and they're just not. They're just constantly taking attrition, but they're not losing any men. Um, I might actually have to bring my troops up to actually fight these guys, which is, it's, it's unfortunate because they're not even my slave revolt. It's the Etruscan slave revolt. 
and just spilled over to me. Trusting is just, just not dealing with it. Now, can my levies deal with this? That's the question. If I go in the forest and then have the... I don't know what they're doing. I think they try... If I try to get there, I'll have the forest defense. And I'll also have the straight crossing defense. So that'll give me a bonus. Right? Terrain to our, to our benefit. Right, let's look at this. We should be okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright. Cool. They're dealt with. What should we go down here? We were down went. What do you write down Roman traditions? <gasps> Three innovations? And siege and it. Uh huh? What's I going for? I was going for the foundry. That's what I need. So I got the foundry. I don't think I need to go down military anymore. It'd be nice to go down. Uh. Fort stuff, siege ability. I guess sieging would be nice. Sieging would be nice. But. Uh, we're gonna go to religious because we want a little bit more population happiness. Oh my god, the people of Rome are starving. Oh, they can't trade automatically. That's my bad. <laughs> that is my bad. We're gonna need to get as much food as possible in here. I don't want them to actually automatic trade because... Actually, I will now that I've actually given them some grain. Because otherwise, I don't think the AI would actually trade in grain or import grain. Um, they would just rather starve. But we really need to get rid of the pops in here. There's 12 slaves in Rome. I don't want 12 slaves in Rome. <laughs> I just don't want 12 slaves in Rome. Let's just spread out the population here. Okay, we've done a little bit of relocation in this place. Hopefully that helps. I don't know if that will help. I think it will help a little bit. Just spreading it out. Oh, we have the first Democrat to come to power. That's actually not very good because we do not have a lot of seats. Short in term lengths. I mean, I'm gonna have to pass it. Can't really do anything about that. Alright, now we have shortened turn lanes, which is going to be annoying to play around, but whatever. Oh, Veneto is now a democratic republic, so they became a tributary. Hopefully they give me the option, because there's a... A event that pops up where your tributaries want to become your client states. Hopefully that happens, because I do... I would like to make them a client state eventually. I don't know what like increase the chances or if it's just complete RNG for that to happen, so... I think I should be ending my alliance with the Etruscans. I don't need them. Like, I really don't need them. I, there's no threats around me at all other than the Etruscans if I were to uh, dissolve their alliance. Actually, they could just straight up ally the, the Carthaginians. Which would be an issue. That would definitely be an issue. I think they do like each other. Oh. Oh my god. Maybe not. So, I, I will... Just stop because I might as well have a truce running down by now. Right now, as 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 we wait for my grass expansion to come down. So I think once the truce is up, I think I'll just attack them. Might as well get them out of the way because after the Etruscans are dealt with, then there's nothing else. That's a fat Epirus. Oh, they just ceased the tribute. Well, I don't know if that was a good idea because now I could just force you to become a client state. I trust the Etruscans won't attack me, right? Surely not. I'm just gonna force him to come to tributary then no that's a great expansion it's not gonna be that much though because i have a claim on them do i want to take that for now i don't want to take that i will take it immediately going to war huh i mean now that you're at war i think i just have to attack you <laughs> i think i just have to attack you now so so i don't have to actually fabricate claims on the etruscans i need to get to here so i should probably focus on dealing with the south first and then doing this, and then going to war the Etruscans. So maybe it was too early for me to break my lines with them, but whatever. I'll be metalworking. Let's do this. Plus 20% commerce, plus 50% population output. That's huge. Looking at our civilization here, it's not that good. It's really not that good. Despite how much buildings we have in here, we only have 42 civilization. Diplomats from Epirus, the Greek invaders of southern Italy led by a man named Xenocrates, have arrived to treat with us. Lamenting our differences, Xenocrates exhorts our assembly that common ground may be found and peace maintained with both Umbrian and Epirus interests preserved. Many of our senators seem won over by the words of this sophist, that is, until Appius is brought into the chamber, and gives a scathing and rousing speech decrying their cowardice. We declare war on them. <laughs> uh, what are they doing right now? They're at war with the Antigonids. It's a league. 
It's not that big of a war. It's not something Empress will really struggle with. It'll be hard for them to really try to fight a two-front war, especially one overseas. So I think, honestly, we're over Veneta right now. We can finish this pretty quickly. I think we can do this. We gain claims on Epiro territories in Italia and Magna Gratia. Epirus is doing very well. This is the best I've seen Epirus do. That's crazy. I might be 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 be, be very overconfident here. I might be v I may. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know how to speak English, guys. Oh, they are coming very quickly. Wow. Well, that's uh very fast. Okay. Let's do some things. Get you on Borderlands. Let's also get. What are these forts looking like? Oh, so they can just go straight through that one. All right, the reinforcements are here. All right, in the battle. Nice. Actually, before we take the provincial capital, we want to, with our, yes, with our leader, we want to siege down their cities. This is a very important thing to do. Do not forget to siege down as much cities as you can with your leader. Don't you hide? <laughs> That's a lot of money. First, actually, I want to make a holy site. I want to do so many things, but first I think I want to make a holy site. It's going to have to be to sack the Triump Triumpy Ius. Right, let's get a holy site. Yeah, boom. Okay, now we can put things in this holy site. Put the Giving Tablets in there. And I guess, what other treasures are available? Culture Happiness would be nice, actually. It's plus 10%. We'll just take this out of there. And put it in there. Boom. I should update the next turn. Or, yeah, there you go. Boom, that's good. Overall, everyone's happier. And that's good, because more happiness means more production. And production is everything in this game. Or output, I should say. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. Mm, I don't wanna. But I don't wanna. Guys, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do it. What benefit will that have for us? I mean, that will give us a lot of levies, actually, for our Italian levy. I guess temporarily, sure. You know what? We'll do it temporarily. That's fine, I guess. That's... Well, yeah. Okay. Whatever. If... Yeah. Just... Man, I, I didn't want to do it, but whatever. All right. Antikapua now is done. We've bypassed the rival Sa the Samnites. Under or the subject owns all the Bikinum area, so we need to attack the Lucanians. I think we go to war immediately. I think... Despite the amount of crisp expansion we have, uh, it's just a small lead they have, so it should be too hard. Yeah, we might as well fight them now, deal with it, get this out of the way, so we can form the. Oh my God, I don't know how. how where am I gonna get the stability? Oh, I'm still integrating. Yeah, I'm integrating the Romans. Should I wait until I integrate the Romans? I don't think I need to wait. These guys should not be hard to beat at all. I just realized I need to actually fabricate the claim first, and that's gonna take time. And political foots for me. We're setting ourselves up for a very long. A peace after this after these conquests we're setting ourselves up for a very long peace you want me to desecrate the holy site in rome i mean shit why didn't i think about this sooner now rome is burning as it should in order to ensure the stability of our economy and the quality of our species 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 what 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 the what what is what is that what is that supposed to be we must construct a mint in ecuvium that will Produce coinage that is up to our standards. Get extra commerce, civilization, and tax. So I think I'm gonna use this to go on appeasing. Go, that's good. Finally, we can do that. We are losing so much stability. Oh, all of Pikenum. That means I need to take Ancona. Honestly, I think I should move this fort for Rome. It's far better to have a fort here. Yeah, it's actually so much better to have a fort here, because it, it blocks these two here. So we don't have one big wall of forts from the strong side of the Etruscans. Then I can fully focus on one war for just the city of Ancona. And then I can form the Federation, then get all the claims I need on the Italian for the Italian parts of Etruria. Alright, it's been a couple of years, and now it's finally time to go to war with the Etruscans. Built up a fort in Vena, and we've... <laughs> Upgraded our capital to a level 3 fort. So we have a good defensive wall here for our core territory. Essentially, the game plan here is to siege down Ancona, take it, and while I'm sieging down Ancona, just use the forts as defense. Just sit behind the forts and wait for them to siege it down, and then go in and attack them when they siege. 
and then immediately retreat back and replenish and wait for them to come back. All right, pick him. Let's go. Well, 24,000. There we go. That city has no food, so we're just take we're taking it instantly. Our capital, to be fair, doesn't have much food either, so we can't really wait for them to take attrition or like to lose food. We have a 13, they have a 2 marshal. Um, I don't think we really need the reinforcements. Plus 5 on them! Oh, is that technically a river crossing? That doesn't really make sense, but sure. We killed 9,000 of them. Now, what could we do? Because I don't want to take anything yet from them, at least when it comes to the Italia side. So I guess we could dismantle them, yeah, all right. And this is the peace deal we'll go for for now. Now we have everything we need, now we just need the stability. We can do season Kona, and now we wait. Again. If I can get down to defending Liberty, I can immediately lose 10 aggressive expansions, so let's try to get to there. There we go. Good. Yes! Oh my god, so lucky. With our most powerful rivals for Italia utterly destroyed, I would- I think- I think it'd be better to have of Italia instead of for Italia. We hereby proclaim ourselves to be the hegemon of this land. Send riders to the capitals not yet under our sway and inform them that their days are numbered. With Italia under Umbrian control, Umbria will declare itself to be the Umbrian Federation. Boom! A pan-Umbrian Federation. Our armies have marched far and wide, beating back in numerous enemies. And we now hold a grasp over most of the Italian peninsula, with most of the tribes under the control of the Umbri, and the rival Romans and Samnites finally defeated. We can now declare the Umbrians to be hegemons over all Italia. But will our Federation of Italians see all of the tribes as equals to one another, even the Latin lowlanders and Sabellian Samnites, or does the future belong solely to the people of the Thunderstorm? Ah, so if we do the Umbria are about a handful of many, we will instead become Italia. No! Come on, we're gonna we're gonna be the Umbrian Federation. This is a nation by Umbrians for Umbrians. Oh my god, what is that flag? <laughs> what? That's actually so cool. That's a really cool flag. I actually really like that. What's next? Conquer Lucania. Right, it comes in Tarentum and Apulia. I think we already have that. Tarentum and Apulia. We already have that. Invite Brutium into the Federation. We already have Brutium as a feudatory, by the way. So, I don't know what this will actually do. I mean, sure. Yeah. Huh? Invite him. Mm-hmm. Cool. Good. They accept it. All right, we can now finish this mission. And what's next? Anything else? No, that's it. That, that's that, that's actually it. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. We actually did it. Now, I could end it here, but I want to go just a little bit longer. I want to actually fully control Italia. And I mean all of it. In the meantime, my research has gone up to a respectable 90%. It's still not amazing, but it'll still take a while for our research to go up. Um, I haven't really been focusing too much on it, but the academies and quarter laws that we built in our Umbrian cities have helped so far. Legions would be very nice. I can make a very big legion for Italia. As long as I keep the Romans accepted. So, you know, I think I'll do it after this war with the Etruscans. So, I can get a huge amount of money from sacking their cities, then use it on getting a legion. Then I use that legion against the Carthaginians. Look at how much the powers just shifted completely. It, it, first it was the, what, the oligarchs and traditionalists that had all the power. Then now it's just the Democrats and traditionalists. The oligarchs have just lost everything. I don't see the Etruscans anywhere. It's kind of weird. Oh my, that's... I. They don't have a marshal. They, they have a zero marshal, what? Is there... Wow, yeah, he's that bad. Yeah, okay. Uh, we should win this. Yep, if we can get a breach, we can... In Actually, we can do it now. Yeah, let's just assault it now. These guys are blocked off. I don't think that's gonna be stack wiped, though. Okay, nope. Oh, there's some of them. Some of them were stack wiped. Alright, what's going on? What's on my screen? We're probably gonna try to exit through here next. And that's where we cut them off. Oops, that's my bad. I didn't realize they were moving over. Catching? Yes, we did. Right, those guys. Oh, I completely forgot about Corsica. And there go the Etruscans. What I do is put these, all of these guys on cultural sim. That's not cultural simulation. That's not cultural simulation. I just misclicked. Fuck 
taken twice in a row. Guard the Jujin's gonna be really hard to fight. Oh, Fazan is a thing. Hmm. I was about to say, maybe they can help me fight, but, uh, they... <laughs> They don't have a lot of pops. All right, it is the year 515, and I think it is time for us to have one big war with the Carthaginians. We've pretty much conquered or subjugated all of Italia at this point. Now, the only thing that's left is the Carthaginians. Now, the Carthaginians just finished their war in Iberia, so maybe their troops should be in Iberia, or maybe they've already had enough time to bring them down. I have my one legion here in Sardinia. They're going to deal with occupying Sardinia. Then we're going to immediately try to bring them back. Bring them over to Sicily. Where they can reinforce my mercenaries and my Cisalpine Gaul conscripts. And then hopefully we take down all of Sicily and all of Sardinia. Then we can piece them out. And then that's that. Carthaginian Aravacian War. How are you going to get there? Let's go Brutium. Make sure the navy is always in port so they don't get caught by the Carthaginians. They have 99 ships. I don't know. Assault ability. Sure, why not? Honestly, it's near the end of this campaign. We might as well use this assault ability. It wasn't really as helpful as I thought it would be. I just never really used it. That's why. I just I didn't have really the manpower. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That's a lot of elephants, but it's also a lot of light troops. Right. Stack light. Stack light. Stack light. Let's bring these guys back now. I don't want to use my navy. I don't want to transport them because that's just too risky. I should have checked what kind of what levy that was. I don't know if that was the Carthaginian levy, like the one from what is it called? Africa. I don't know if it was from Africa or Numidia. I think it was the African levy that I completely stack wiped. So that means they shouldn't be bringing anything scary. For a while, when second be wrought, some of our soldiers happened upon an old man drawing some symbols in the sand and intently cried. Do not disturb my circles. Some say it was Archimedes, a genius mathematician, yet others doubt it. Still, it seemed interesting enough for our soldiers to remember it at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, Archimedes' circles appears in Umbrian Federation's treasury. Well, that's a lot of research points. Okay. Interesting. I mean, we could... <laughs> um... <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. I mean, we could. We could try. We could try. We could try. I'm gonna scout out first to see where their navy is. If their navy is sitting... Okay, let's go be... Let's go there. If their navy is sitting in Carthage, then I'm not gonna try anything. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. Nope. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Oh, and there's- yeah, okay, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. I got it. I understand. I fully understand. Excluding Sardinia, Veneto, and the two Magnagration city-states of Alea and Heraclea, Italy is united. The Umbrian Federation reigns victorious over all Italic peoples. This is the current vassal situation. We have a fully united Democratic Republic of Sardinia as a client state of ours. We have two Illyrian vassals. One is a Democratic Republic and one is a tribe. We have the city-state of Chersos, Veneto, of course. Then we have two Gallic tribes as our vassals over here to the north. Of course, the two Magnagration city-states of Alea and Heraclea. I got these guys way back during the war with the Epirotes. It's nice to have some city-states around. Their people can can live freely in their own realms as long as they pay us tribute. And let's look at religion. We have Italic pretty much everywhere. As for the Umbrian population, we are in almost every corner of the Federation. We're not getting around that much, is because we have a good amount of integrated pops. We have the little Pontics and the Romans uh, integrated, and our cultural assimilation isn't that fast. But as time goes on, eventually, the Etruscans will be fully assimilated, then the Sabellians, and will pretty much become the most dominant population of Italia. You can get a good look at the Atlas as well of central Italia. Let's look at our lovely capital of Spalletti. 53 pops we've gotten to. Our research points has definitely climbed a lot higher than what it was before. We've gone up to 46 civilization, which really isn't that much. Rome is more civilized than us, <laughs> ironically. And we have way more buildings in here. That's actually funny. Why? 
Why is it so much more civilized? This was a very fun campaign. Uh, very, very stressful in the beginning with the first episode. Trying to, like, rush to destroy Rome. Of, of course, after Rome was gone, it became a breeze, so... But, uh, yeah, it was still very fun. I liked the mission tree. Very solid. Very, very solid. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed. It's been all ton. Signing out. See ya.